Oh, excuse me. Whew, that wasn't me. That was Jesus. I'm going to speak in the Revelations. That's what I'm going to speak on. Say they, that used to be Darky, but this is Derek now. Once was lost, but now I'm found. You understand? This right here can guide your life to the right way if you let it. Amen. This will guide your life the right way if you let it. You should really go to church. It makes me want to just, like, fucking punch you in the face. I got, a, I got something I want to read out here for all the sinners still out there, okay? I was just baptized today, and I was saved last, like, three weeks ago, okay? Uh, let's go to Revelations. And look, before you go nuts and post something everyone knows, like John 3.16 or Philippians 4.13, just know that that punch was a right look and it came from the Holy Spirit. So really, you're the one hating on Jesus, not me. Look how healthy Durkey is. Look how nice Durkey looks. It's not Durkey no more. It's Derek now. It was Durkey on the streets, but Jesus brought Derek to his feet. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? And anybody's welcome, welcome to our congregation. Anybody's welcome to come go to church with us. Wharton Baptist Church. It's called the Wharton Missionary Baptist Church. It's right on the Wharton BM line. It's four minutes. I can walk straight to it right there. Okay. And frankly, I don't want to go to a place where people yell all day and fucking put their hand on people's heads when they fucking shake and they're like, oh, you fucking cured cancer. I want you to think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. <laughs> We're living in a time where preachers are trying to sell holy water in little plastic piece of shit vials on infomercials. When I got saved three weeks ago, my sins was gone. I just completed the whole task because I am 100% committed to this book right here. 110% committed to this book right here. If you get one, if you need one, contact me. If you need one, if you need a Bible, contact me. This is not Durkee talking to you no more, guys. You don't hear no foul language. You don't hear nothing. So if you don't like what I have to say about this book right here, there's a button right there. There's a button right there. I was just baptized in the water today. I was saved three weeks ago, and I'm very proud of that. I'm very, very proud of that. As a man of God, I need to be closer to Jesus. The rapture is here. It's here, people. And if you think I'm wrong and you're laughing at me right now, have mercy on your soul. Lord, have mercy on your soul. I pray for you is all I can do. All I can do is pray for you from my heart. That's all I can do. <laughs> So you will have people like that come in here to try to stall us. That's the devil in himself. Yeah, uh, God's going to flick you into hell, probably. And when God does flick your ass to hell, he's going to put you in a room with a hundred cases of your toilet shit holy water. Then he's going to stick your ass in a room with this kid, and he's going to yell at you for a thousand years. Shut up! Have fun. Yeah, you definitely work for Satan. I think you're full of shit. How are you gonna be a preacher and lie about bringing people to Jesus? Yo, you and Jesus are not gonna be cool after all this. Look how you're speaking towards a, a, a newborn Christian. That's the worst thing you can do to a newborn Christian is doing what you're doing right now. Could you imagine being such a fucking piece of shit scamming liar? I feel better than I've ever felt. I feel, I feel with the love of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I heard an old, old story, how a Savior from glory. Yeah. Go fuck yourself.